Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack, and we have got live tournament action coming at you right now on Icy Cup Test Bug Scrapper Scraper Bike. Or Scrapper Bike? Scraper Bike, I'm guessing. Versus Dirty Monkey. All right, I remember good old Dirty Monkey. But uh, Scraper Bike is a new player to me, so I'm interested to see how this is going to go. Let me check the website here real quick and just see what we've got for leagues. If we can find it. Dirty Monkey is a platinum level player. Scraper Bike going to be a gold level player. Cool. So gold versus platinum now. Scraper Bike got a little bit of discrepancy there potentially. I'm sure he has got the skills necessary. However, uh, it just comes down to execution. It's what I always tell people. And that most of the time, it's the hard work that takes you up in the higher leagues. But let's take a look here. Scraper Bike going to be... Um, spawning as our purple Terran over here at the three o'clock position. Now note, Test Bug is a three-player map, so uh, you do have to scout. You don't know exactly where they're going to be, but there's only two choices instead of three choices of where they could possibly be spawning. Dirty Monkey is, however, going to be spawning as our yellow Zerg up here at the top left corner. And let's see, what has he got going here? Oh my goodness, smart move. Going to be building an Overlord, morphing in an Overlord. Got to love that. Super important. Scraper Bike going to be working on a wall off here. Always a good idea against Zerg. Well, I guess generally a good idea against Zerg. Maybe not always, but generally speaking, you want to go ahead and wall off. Zergling run buys can be extremely difficult to deal with if you let them run, run up into your base and your mineral line. Ew, ew, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. Looks like he's probably going to toss down a barracks. Yes, he is, but he did send out his scout here right away as well. Wants to find his opponent. Now, lucky him, he is scouting in the correct direction, so he's going to get some decent information here fairly early. And Dirty Monkey not far behind on his scouting either. Let's take a look here. We do have this, this uh, Overlord cruising out. Notice what he's doing. Now, I'm really, really, really liking this play right now from, from Dirty Monkey. Um, while he is a gold player... He has definitely picked up on some of the pro tips, and that is take your second Overlord and camp it above where you're going to expand. This is just lovely play that lets you know, that gives you the vision while this building is training of whether or not he's going to try and bunker rush you because he could put a bunker right here if you don't have vision or like right here, um, right really close to this hatchery and it does not have vision until it is complete. So uh, the Overlord there does give you that vision, lets you know if you're going to have to deal with any kind of bunker harass. So always, always smart to do that. Looks like this wall off is going to be complete here in just a moment. We do have Marines on the way. And the Orbital Command up in pretty stinking good time. Look at this. Now notice that he did catch this. There is going to be a bunker here. Oh, SCV about to get sniped. And Scraper Bike choosing to cancel there. Not a bad play. Uh, but no, see how handy that Overlord comes into play there. My goodness. Gotta love that. Always, always want vision while those early hatcheries are going down. Now we do have a good drone transfer here as well as four Zerglings cruising out across the map. Maybe not. Okay, they're going to camp here in their natural. But uh, those are, there he goes. He's going to use those for a little bit of map control. That's usually what uh, what Zerg players are doing these days. Go ahead. Whoops. Yikes. Sorry about that. Alt-tabbing while I was moving the screen. Just want to cruise out here to the stream and see if anybody's talking. These Zerglings are just going to poke up the ramp here to see what they can see. Are going to see this nice wall in, as well as plenty of Marines here for defense. So, probably knows what he's going to have to deal with. <laughs> Tox telling me not to alt-tab. Always alt-Starcraft. He's correct. I should not be alt-tabbing, but I did want to get the stream up, the stream chat. <coughs> so I could see if anybody's saying anything cool. But not yet. That's okay. Do you have another command center going down here in the main for Scraper Bike? Looks like he's going to be cruising that sucker out here fairly quickly. Nice timing on this from Scraper Bike. I'm liking that quite a bit. It is fairly early. 
but you can see that he's going to be putting down some bunkers here for defense while he is taking this slight risk here going for an early command center or an early expand here at the natural so pretty solid play i'm liking that quite a bit dirty monkey does have his spawning pool complete obviously since we saw those zerglings but an evo chamber as well and these three zerglings going to happily be whapping away at rocks i don't know if that really would make me terribly happy but uh it just does not look like fun trying to beat down a pile of boulders but dirty monkey wishes it and so the zerglings do as he says gotta like having this kind of control over little beings <laughs> nice static defense here definitely both of these players gearing up for a little bit of a macro game they look solid two base play at this point but definitely not going to be putting on super early pressure do you have these bunkers filled up with marines and scraper bike no tech labs or reactors quite yet so he is going to be getting out double factories though hmm interesting interesting build here but continuing to pump marines here so he's going to have a lot of marines here for defense looks like these destructible rocks about to go down that will get dirty monkey control of this nice zelnaga tower See Scraper Bike taking control of this middle Zelnaga Tower with double Marines here. Wants to see if his opponent's going to be cruising out. And this Zergling about to run into some Marines. No speed quite yet. Does he have speed? Oh, there it is. Yeah, he's working on it. He's working on it. Wow, grats, duh. <laughs> Here comes some Zerglings. Uh, probably not a great idea to try and run through here. Way too many, way too many bunkers to deal with. Oh, that's nice. Dirty Monkey going to be working on these destructible rocks for his opponent here so that when he wants, he can take this uh, tower for himself. Very, very nice. Just really wonderful gentleman here. Got to love that. Actually, he can utilize this himself, so he's not doing it for his opponent. I was being facetious. <laughs> and dirty monkey is going to be securing a third here this is pretty decent timing here and as far as tech goes looks like he is just sticking with what he's got at this point he is going to have an infestation pit down and he does already have the baneling nest up so he may be going for a baneling bust followed up with some infested terrans or something like that <laughs> Yeah, great creep spread. Tox is pointing that out out on the live stream. Notice that, it, I mean, look at this creep spread. He is going to cover the entire center of the map. He's already spreading out in this nice kind of arc around both, of, or right around the center. It's going to be awesome. Little arcs. Extremely well done. And look at this. Dirty Monkey going to be built, taking down these rocks here as well. Boy, he sure does not like these destructible rocks on this map. He's like, got to get rid of all of them immediately. And so he is, but that's going to... Uh, open up this gold expand for him which is a nice gold expand it does have six mineral patches and a rich vesping geyser on either side extremely valuable there on this gas so if you're going to go for like heavy muta play or heavy infester or both or something like that these rich vesping geysers come in super super handy nice looking army here from scraper bike he does have plenty of tanks plenty of marines looks like he is definitely just going to be massing up these two units for just a little while more barracks on the way we do have a tech lab but no marauders no marauders just using it for upgrades not a bad idea Look at that creep spread. You dig it the most, Tox. But uh, now Scriper Bike going to start to fall behind here. He is on two base, but this is this is the time when he needs to either be pushing out here very shortly or going ahead and trying to secure and expand. And uh, so he's going to be stuck on this two base play here if he's not careful.
taken over the test bug map with creep though i mean that is just really nice stuff really great play from dirty monkey right now he's being very he's making very safe plays you've seen that there's not really been any serious engagements thus far in this game these guys just poking at each other a little bit here and there here comes movement scraper bike knows that he's got to make something happen i think at this point gonna be cruising out across this field here he's got plenty of tanks plenty of marines he does have stim complete on these guys as well as the uh, combat shield going to be super effective infested terrans maybe toss some infested terrans right in the mix Fungal. Oh, he did none better just to do some infested Terrans. But he did clean this up. Scraper bike uh, going to lose almost his entire army there. He does have some defense back here. It is at his uh, natural. But actually quite a loss for him. Dirty Monkey does have the economy that he needs to go ahead and rebuild this pretty quickly off this three base play. I mean, Scraper Bike does, I'll give him one one nice, I mean, thumbs up here. Is look at his unit producing structures. He's got plenty. He's going to be able to re-macro an army very, very quickly off this, and that's really going to serve him well. Uh, however, he is going to start to come and in, run into trouble where economy is concerned. You can see him trying to secure his third right now. This is exactly what he needs to do. He's got to get something going here economically. I mean, look at his mane. This thing not going to last tons longer here. Scouting overlord getting taken out there. And we're going to have a planetary here. This is, I think, a smart move. That's going to put him on a solid three base here for just a little while before his main mines out. And then he'll still be on nice two base afterwards. So good move here with the planetary. He's definitely going to have to turtle up. We do have a little drop going down up here. Nice. All those guys going down. But he did stall mining there and got a couple drone kills. So that's pretty solid. Ooh, good fungals going down. One more, maybe. There we go. Now, Dirty Monkey in pretty decent position, but Scraper Bike building up another massive tank marine army. Going to be cruising out across the field here. He does have a couple medevacs in tow as well. This is a pretty scary force, actually. Oh, look at this. He's got some ghosts in the mix. Gotta love that. Good fungal going down here. Fungal! Oh, you got a fungal there. Oh, he was out of energy. Those guys had some energy. Wow, but Scraper Bike getting cleaned out again there. Fungal? Maybe? There we go. And down they go. All the units in there just died. That's no fun. But it happens. That's a decent amount of, of investors here. He's got quite a few Zerglings as well. But Scraper Bike going to be pretty solid here again. I think that timing was just right. He really needed that, that third base here. So really going to serve him well. He's got plenty of unit producing structures. This is going to be a difficult choke for Dirty Monkey to break into. He's probably going to have to tech up to something a little bit heftier. Maybe some Broodlords or something like that. I don't know. I mean, he could probably make it happen with these investors and Zerglings and Banelings. But uh, the amount of tanks that Scraper Bike seems to be committing to going to make it difficult. Of course, he's not sieging these tanks up. This would be a great time to run in here right now, actually, if you're a dirty monkey. Looks like Scraper going to be going for some more drops. Notice the map control, though, from Dirty Monkey. He's got these guys spread out, overlords spread out across the field everywhere. 
Here comes the drop ships, the uh, medevacs, scouted, mm, scouted. Let's see how many times these guys get scouted. <laughs> that's once, that's twice, scouted twice, and <laughs> scouted three times. And <laughs> scouted four times. Nice map control. Just no, I mean, just take note here how well that scouting for Dirty Monkey is paying off. I mean, he now knows he forced his opponent. He's like, he's like, okay, that's the fourth Overlord I've passed here. I might as well just start killing these guys because this drop probably not going to be super effective. And then look what Dirty Monkey's doing as well. He's got his investors ready to go to defend this base if he needs. He's taken another base up here. He's really going to have a roaring economy here in just a little while. So Dirty Monkey shaping up, I think, exactly the right way at this point. Looking to be in phenomenal shape. That's what we like to see. Now this three-base play, though, for Scraper Bike is going to be pretty tough. I mean, he can get a lot of tanks out. There we go. Look at all these siege tanks. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of splash damage. A lot, of, a lot of Marines here. We do have some Vikings. There's the Broodlords. Now the Vikings are a great play here. He was kind of guessing that. Knew that his opponent probably was going to have to go for Broodlords, so went ahead and got some Vikings out. I mean, he's playing blind in a lot of ways, but making good decisions about, you know, a probable move that his opponent could possibly be working on. Here come the broods. These guys are about to get into position here. Oh, siege tanks. Brutal. Need to get these Vikings in play. Looks like Dirty Monkey going to be sacrificing these broodlords here on the ground trying to weaken this up enough for these investors to come in and make it happen. All oh, his broodlord's going down. Oh, it's very, very costly here. Gonna have to back out. These Thor's gonna be too much to deal with. That broodlord didn't have to go in there. Another command center here for Scraper Bike. His natural here is mined out. His main is mined out. So he's really got to take another base here. He's only on one mining base at this point. So you can see that that economy is starting to hurt him. And Dirty Monkey going to take this opportunity to just start streaming over units. Fester's doing a lot of damage there. Nice attack here from uh, from Dirty Monkey. Fairly effective. I like that quite a bit. And still going. He's just roaring through these units. Going to take out this command center, it looks like. Well, no, there, there's this Marine. Skimming in to take, clean that up finally. But he's got to get to work on this command center. He has got to have a second base or it is going to be over. Here come the Zerglings again. Round two, says Dirty Monkey. And this looks like a death force to me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, these tanks need to already be sieged up. Oh, look at these infested Terran going down up on the high ground. And there it is. GG. Well played, says Scraper Bike. Scraper Bike, thanks for coming out, brother. It was tons of fun to watch watch you play. Um, especially a great player like Dirty Monkey. I think he did a phenomenal job there. Uh, but thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't alt-tab. Always alt-starcraft. We will see you guys in the next game.